If you're watching this video, you are looking for ways to speed up your WordPress website, but you also don't want to spend long nights learning how to code. And in today's video, we're gonna help you speed up your WordPress website without any of that coding. So first, why does page speed even matter? What you need to know is page speed is crucial to the health of a website, and to be honest, no one likes a slow website and neither does Google. And not only will you be providing a faster user experience, you'll also be providing a safer user experience. And you'll even benefit largely with increasing your core web vitals performance. But for the sake of this video and to keep things short, here are the four main reasons for why page speed matters. First, site speed influences SEO. Google has indicated that page speed is an important signal in determining if your site ranks. After all, Google does does not want to send a user to an extremely slow loading website. Second, faster websites are easier to crawl. When your page is slow, Google might deprioritize your site from being crawled and indexed. Third, page speed impacts conversions. I mean, come on, humans are pretty lazy nowadays. Just simply put it, the quicker the web page loads, the more likely a user is to perform the action you want them to take. And fourth, faster sites reduce the bounce rate. What you need to remember is your competition is always just one click away. You can have the best content and the best products out there, but if your website is slow, your competitors will be the only ones benefiting. Now, if you've never done a page speed test before, or you want to measure your core web vitals, here are some tools to check out. PageSpeed Insights, Chrome UX Report, Search Console, Chrome DevTools, Lighthouse, and the Core Web Vitals Extension. And after this video, you should definitely check out the blog post that goes in complete depth on website performance and speed test results. I'll link that below. Now, without any further ado, let's get started with these 10 tips. And remember, these will not require a degree in coding and will be headache free. Number one, choose a powerful hosting. This has a high impact on your page speed and it's a major role in website performance. What you should look for in hosting is a company that takes the extra measures to help your performance and has great customer support. In the market, there are also three types of hosting as well, shared, dedicated, and managed WordPress hosting. And if you want to learn everything under the sun about hosting, well, you guessed it, we have a complete article on it. I'll also link below. Number two is to use a cache plugin for speed optimization. A caching plugin generates static HTML pages of your website and saves them on your server. Each time a user then tries to access your website, your caching plugin displays the lighter HTML page instead of the heavier WordPress PHP scripts. And in case you don't know, our plugin WP Rocket can help you perfectly with this. For example, here's a website without WP Rocket. And here's the same website after just installing the plugin WP Rocket. Like I said, the plugin is super easy to install and we apply 80% of the best website performance practices during that installation. Third is to optimize the media on your site. With images, iframes, and videos, you can enable lazy load to improve the actual and perceived loading time. With images, it's also important to add missing width and height attributes to images in the media tab. And these two fixes can easily be done with our plugin WP Rocket just by the click of a checkbox. Now, another thing you can do is reduce the weight of your images and then resize them according to the real size on your page. And also don't let WordPress decide this for you. If you wanna learn more about why you shouldn't, we explain this in a whole other article that of course I'll link below in the description. Now, if you're wondering how to do this and you're looking for a plugin to reduce the weight and resize your images, you should definitely check out Imagify. And don't just take my word for it, look at what the customers have to say about it too. Now, I do want to say while you can lazy load videos on your site, it's best you don't upload extremely large files onto your site. With it being such a big file, it will really hurt your site's performance because of having to load such a large file. The best practice here would be to upload that video file onto a site like YouTube, then embed it onto your page. And then when you enable the lazy loading, it will lazy load the embedded video and not the actual large file. Number four is to choose a theme that's optimized for speed. One of the best parts about WordPress are the near infinite number of themes that you can choose from. Now, you shouldn't only just focus on aesthetic and functionality. You should also focus on speed. And to make your life even easier, we even have a blog of the 14 fastest free WordPress themes. Also, you can check out the Query Monitor plugin to find out if your current theme is causing any performance issues as well, and if you need to switch. Number five, do not use a slider on your header. 
While you may think this is cool, it is one of the actions that will have one of the worst impacts on your site's speed. Number six, eliminate bloated plugins. Don't get me wrong. It can be fun to install lots of plugins and take the functionality of your site to the next level, but it can also really slow down your website. So always test your site before and after activating a plugin. And also make sure to remove unused plugins to not clutter your database and also avoid adding vulnerability points to your site. You can also use the Query Monitor plugin to find out if any plugins are causing any performance issues on your site as well. Tip number seven, use a CDN. A CDN creates a network of servers around the world that stores static files that make for much faster loading times in different scenarios. Now, if you're planning on selling internationally or going multilingual, you definitely need to consider using a CDN. And for CDNs, we recommend our premium CDN called Rocket CDN. And like I said before, our team loves to keep this extremely simple and headache free. So our CDN automatically applies the best performance settings so you don't have to spend any time worrying about it. Number eight is to make regular WordPress updates. Now this one isn't all that exciting, but simply just keep on updating WordPress as the platform continues to roll out their updates so that way you can make the most out of what they are trying to offer you. Number nine is to limit post revisions. The WordPress revision system stores a record of each saved draft or published update. However, too many post revisions can impact the speed of your WordPress site if your pages are not cached. A solution to limit the post revisions is to add this code snippet to your wpconfig.php file. As you can see, we added the number five, which is the number of revisions that we want to do, but you can set up your own figure. So to wrap everything up, your website load time is a huge factor in keeping users happy and also keeping Google happy with your site. Luckily, just by doing these 10 easy steps that I just told you, you can get great performance without any of the headache or long nights of trying to learn code. Also, if you want to learn more about the Core Web Vitals topic that I previously mentioned just a little bit in this video, check out this video that we just released on the subject. Peace out, Rocketeers.